Hey everyone, today I'm gonna be doing an update of how to install Stable Diffusion. I do not have it installed on my computer at the moment. I intentionally deleted it so I can start fresh and then troubleshoot if there's any issues because I know a lot of people had issues with the last time I made a video of how to install Stable Diffusion. So let's get right into it. So I'm gonna go to this website where basically it has a bunch of information about Stable Diffusion. I just wanna say this is mainly for people who have an Nvidia graphics card and also PC users. And I will also go over how to use it in Google Colab, which should allow you to use it on any computer, but there are some downsides to it. And I'll go over that at the end. On this website, you also find information if you are an Apple user, and I'll put the links to all this in the description. There's a link here that might be relevant to you where it tells you how to install this on an Apple Silicon. I'm not too familiar with that. So I, I just won't speak on it because I just don't know too much. I just know there's a guide here if you want to follow that. Also for AMD users, there is a guide here as well, but uh, it says for Linux only. So I I don't know too much about that. So again, I will just stick to NVIDIA GPU. You need a graphics card that is at least four gigabytes of VRAM. It's not recommended if you go lower than that. So if as long as you have four gigabytes, then you should be fine. So here's the guide to install it. Let's start with installing Python 3.10.6. So I have all my links right here and I will put the links again in the description. Copy, bam, bam, paste. All right, come all the way down, Windows installer. All right, so this is downloading, opens up. I'm just gonna click here where it says Python 3.10 to path. Make sure you click on that and then install. Setup was successful, close. Uh, the next thing we got to do is install Git. So open this link right here, install Windows, go to next. Next, next, next. Here I wanna put use Notepad++ as Git's default editor. Sometimes this is useful later because if you do run into issues, you can edit the file in a way that makes it work later. So, and just press next on everything else and then it installs. The next step is you wanna copy this link right here. So copy, now that you install Git, then you're gonna create a folder where you want Stable Diffusion to be saved. So I created a folder called SDUI. And here in this folder, this is where everything's gonna be saved. So you create the folder and then once you're inside the folder, you click on here where the address bar is at, type in CMD, then press enter. This will pop up. Then you paste this link right there into here. And then you press enter. So what that will do is it will directly save a bunch of files in here instead of you having to go to the website and a separate link and then download it. And then it starts to give you all this stuff here. Once that's done, you're almost done. Play Stable Diffusion Checkpoint in the model's Stable Diffusion directory. I believe you can use pretty much any model as long as there is a model in there. Uh, I have a link to some models right here that you can start off with, but later obviously you can add models, but just be very careful because I never have encountered any issues, but it is known that people could put malware or even viruses in these uh, models. So be very careful with the stuff you download out there, but I will give you links to these things that are pretty safe just to start off and just to get you going. So I have a few models in here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this one. I'm gonna copy SD in painting, copy, and go to models, go to stable diffusion, and it even tells you here, put checkpoints here. And in this folder is where I'm going to be pasting the model. Again, I'm gonna put links where you can download it. You put it in here, SD in painting, and then you can add other models into here with different styles of art that you would like to put in there. Or if you train art, you can put it in here. And then run web UI user .bat and it should be in this folder right here, your stable diffusion, this folder that was created earlier and look for web UI user .bat and double click on that. And then a bunch of stuff will start to download. It might take a while, just be patient with it because it's installing a bunch of stuff. Everything should work. So it's very easy. It's not very complicated to install this, so. All right, so that's done. Every time you launch it, you'll launch it from here like you just did but it won't take as long. You're gonna just copy this URL and open your browser. And then you are going to be pasting it in your browser. And then you got Stable Diffusion. And up here, you got the checkpoint uh, or the model that you already put in. This is the one I put in, the inpainting 1.5. All right, so let's actually test it out now. Let me actually just 
let's try image to this is i love image to image this is what i do most of my work on yeah seems to work i mean this looks ugly but uh it's working and that's the point uh let me go to tier just one punch man let's see if just text to image works yep text to image works if you are having some issues i know that there's a common problem if you come into the web ui that user and you go to edit there are some issues with like this not finding where python is at so i would just go to python and then right click open file location and do it one more time open file location once you're here to where it says python.exe you have to right click and typically when you right click on um, it should give you an option to copy path if you're not seeing copy path you just click on shift then right click and it should give you an extended window with more options and right here it says copy as path and then you put it here in python you paste it you save it and then you run it again hopefully that should fix some issues because i know that some people when they have issues because python doesn't install properly or something i'm not going to save it because mine is working if yours is working perfect the way you update stable diffusion you go to the folder where you saved stable diffusion just like we did at the beginning type in cmd and then you're gonna type in git pull enter and it should update If you do not own a PC or an NVIDIA graphics card, there is another option that you can technically use on any computer and that's using it through Google Colab. So there's Google Colab, which is technically free, but there's also paid versions where it gives you computing units and it also runs faster. If you pay for the most expensive one, you can even leave your computer off and it would generate everything while you're not even on your computer. But it's a little pricey for what you're gating. But if you have the money and you want to do it, then you can do it. So uh, what I did, the first thing I did is as soon as I opened this, I saved the copy in my drive. So you go here, file, save copy. So all you got to really do here, click on uh, this little play button. It's going to run, right? You click on this one already if you want. You come here to model download and basically you can either bring a model into your google drive which i wouldn't recommend it takes like forever unless you already have the models on your google drive somewhere in the folder like i wouldn't really recommend you doing it that way what you can do is you can go to wherever the model's at and right here for this case this i'm just going to copy link and then put the link right there and it should it's gonna take a little bit for it to download, but it's way faster if you do it this way. It's already like 22% right here. And then as soon as that's done, um, it should start stable diffusion. You can also click here and re-download the original model. It just depends on what you, what you prefer. All right, so it's done and it's connected. So I'm gonna open the link and voila. You got stable diffusion and it's not even running off of your GPU. It does take longer doing it this way again, because it's the free version of this 12, 10, 15%. Yeah, this essentially works exactly like it does when you install it on your PC. So this is another option for you that you can go through. So hopefully this was useful for you. And I, I just want to let you guys know that I'm, <laughs> I am not a very technical person when it comes to this kind of stuff. Sometimes I get questions of stuff I just don't have the answers to, and I'm sorry for that. I'm definitely more of a creative, and that's what I like to do. I like to create stuff with this, but at least I can teach you how to install it, and uh, hopefully it works for most of you. All right, thank you so much for watching. Take care. God bless. Peace.